Hey, this is Fast Draw 30. Uh, I'm going to throw another video up for everybody. Uh, it's going to be on the little Davis by uh, Phoenix Arms. It's uh, a little Saturday Night Special cheap pistol. I picked it up a couple days ago. Uh, There's not a lot of videos on them, so I figured I'd uh, put one out there and basically just kind of show everybody how to take it down because it's really simple. Basically the only tools you're going to need to completely disassemble it is going to be a small fine point screwdriver or if you could use a ballpoint pen in the place of it or uh, any kind of sharp object that would get down in this takedown button which is located right on the back of the pistol here and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And you'll also need a flathead screwdriver, small one, to uh, remove the grips. So first off, let's uh, take the slide down. And I'll show you how to do that. On the back of the pistol, well first off, for all the crybabies out there, let's make sure that it's not loaded. Nothing in the chamber. This pistol will not dry fire without the magazine in. Let's drop the pin. Move the mag. Now, like I said on the back, you've got your takedown button and float. On the back, you take screwdriver, the small or ballpoint pin. And you're going to place it right in that hole. I don't know if you can see the hole right on the back of the pistol there. The way, easiest way I found to do it is to place the pistol on something solid, push down on it, and up, and the slide mechanism comes right off. Okay, now, when your slide mechanism comes off, inside you're going to see the spring, the float, Take down button and the firing pin, and the, this will all slide right out of the the top slide mechanism. Okay. Now the firing pin uh, goes right in the spring. It all comes apart. It's very simple. So there's your firing pin, and when you place the firing pin back in the the slide during reassembly. Make sure that the shorter end of the pin is in towards the chamber because the other end is not the correct end to fire the cartridge. So make sure the short end goes towards the front of the pistol. You can see it slides right in the spring. It's so, but there's your firing pin and your firing pin spring. There's your, your float, your locking mechanism takedown button. Now, you're also going to have your slide spring which is located under the gun here and it just comes out and it's just one spring. There's nothing else in there, just the one spring. Now, so that's basically how you take down the slide off of the, the pistol. To take it down further, you can remove your grips. So it's two uh, flathead screws, one on each side. And the only reason I suggest to take down the grips on this particular model is because I've had several of these little Davis uh, pistols. And a lot of times the, the, uh, the safety gets gummed up for whatever reason, just from toting them in your pocket, just debris. Uh, what have you gets down in there and it, and it makes the the safety a little bit tricky to work sometimes and stiff so you can just simply pull the grip off it's just the one screw be sure not to lose those because they're really tiny the grip comes right off and you got your information I don't know if you can see but you got your information of the manufacturer inside the grip and basically all your safety is is a dial on this gun. It's a small round dial and it comes right off. And there's a tiny ball bearing located under the, the dial. Now I've already cleaned this gun so it doesn't need clean but just to 
give you some information on it as to how it functions. You know, it just basically slides across that little ball bearing. There's two notches. You can see them. There's two little tiny holes here and here that that ball bearing will slide into place on. It. So that's about all there is to the safety mechanism and as it goes up it comes in contact with the, the lock mechanism in the top of the gun which keeps the trigger from being depressed. So anyway that's about the extent of the takedown on this little Davis uh, Raven model 25 ACP. Now, I know these guns aren't the best in the world they're El Cheapos. I get 50 bucks for this one at a gun shop. You know, I mean, it's it's a carry around, you know, last resort type gun. I, I wouldn't stake my life on it, but hey, you know, for the money, they're hard to beat. I've had several. I've never really had any problems with them. They do hang up from time to time. Uh, I wouldn't suggest any kind of hollow point round. Stick to the round ball uh, bullets with them and... and they fire pretty good. So so let's reassemble this pistol and get it back together. Make sure that your safety mechanism is down in place. As you can see here, take the grip, place the grip back on, like so. Your grip screw drops right down in there. Flathead screwdriver. And be careful when you torque these down because that plastic will crack. You don't have to monkey wrench on it too hard because it will crack the plastic because these things aren't very thick, the grips aren't. Okay? So now, your uh, firing pin spring, which is the smaller of the two springs, as you can see, there's a, a difference in size. Your firing pin spring reassembles just like you took it apart. Long end goes inside the spring. Now, the slide has a groove cut in it. As you can see here, it goes right down the, the uh, top part of the, the slide. This is going to just simply drop right in. As you see right there, it just falls right into place. And you can see the firing pin, how it sticks up right here. And that's what you want, want to see. If you reassemble it wrong, you'll know. Now, your takedown button, it's going to go in just like it come out. Just like so. It's going to drop right in there. I always lay mine down with it reassembled like this so that it doesn't fall out. Now your slide spring, as you can see in the front of the gun, there's a hole in here where this spring recesses and sits right in there. And all it is is basically a groove slide that this spring actions back into on. You can work it with your finger and see how it kind of operates. And that's basically about the extent of how the slide spring works. Now, to reassemble it, put your finger over the takedown button, hold it in place so that your firing pin doesn't fall out, slide it over the top of the gun, bringing it back. Now these can be a little bit aggravating sometimes to get to fall right back into place. But with a little effort, I'm trying to keep this in the view of the camera too, so you can see. But so anyway, there we go. Falls right back down into place, and your takedown button should fall right down in there with it, just like that. And now you see how that falls down in there. Put your magazine back. Check for function. And you're good to go. These little guns are not the most uh, 
reliable in the world, but for the money, they're hard to beat. They're hand sized, you know, slide right in your pocket. Uh, when you clean these things, uh, I've always just used a little rim oil, maybe uh, some uh, bore cleaner. Depends on how, how much it's been shot, but most of the time a little rim oil will uh, clean it right up. And uh, they're uh, pretty decent little pistols for the money if you see them in a shop and you know check them out and check them out good make sure you know hadn't been beat up or nothing uh, the biggest thing to look for in these little guns when you find them because you can't get them new because they don't make them anymore so when you do find them the biggest thing to look for is this float pin uh, takedown button in here make sure that it doesn't have excess uh, movement and slop up and down side to side in there because what happens is this little piece that little takedown button is made from aluminum and these things weren't designed to send uh, 10,000 rounds down range you know these things was meant to be used occasionally at best but that little button is made out of aluminum the slide is made out of steel and the aluminum being the softer of the two metals is going to wear down in there a lot of times especially on the bottom part and what will happen is that little button as it wears will get too much clearance between the slide and the bottom rail and you'll have initial problems with it hanging up real bad or I have seen these things during discharge the button break or fracture and the top slide piece will come off and it can be dangerous so word to the wise look at what you're buying before you take it home and shoot it because that little button needs to be in pristine condition for this firearm to work ideally so just look for that that's the biggest problem that I've come across with these little guns but uh, otherwise, I think they're pretty decent for the money. You know, it's not my favorite gun in the world, but, you know, hey, for the money, it's hard to beat. 50 bucks, 75 bucks. You see them all the time in pawn shops or what have you. But I just wanted to do a little review on it and get it out there so people would know that if you do pick these things up, what to look for and how to take it down. And this is Fast Draw 30, and I'll be posting some more videos here coming soon. Leave your comments listed below. Thanks.